question 56 here, we're given an acceleration. Acceleration is equal to 3 minus 2, and I'm going to write that as a negative power because I know what's coming next. Um, this isn't a constant acceleration, so you're not using any SUVAT equations. You've got to look out for those in the future. This is a differentiation integration question because the acceleration is changing all the time. If I want to find out what the velocity is, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate my acceleration formula. So I'm integrating, you can now see why I wrote it as that negative power, and integrating that gives me 3t, and power goes up by 1, divided by the new power. So I've got uh, t to the power of minus 2, plus t to the minus 2 there. And don't forget now to put a plus c. Now, how are we going to find out what that c is? Well, we were told that when t equals 1, it is at rest. So, at t equals 1, at rest means the velocity is 0. So, we can find out now by putting the 1 into all of that, we can find out that c has to be minus 4. And so, our velocity is 3t plus t to the power of minus 2 minus 4. Part B continues, and part B continues to find us where the displacement is. Well, the displacement, S, is the integral of the velocity. So we're now integrating that thing that we just did there. And so this time, what are we getting? We're getting 3t squared over 2, and then minus t to the power of minus 1. And the minus 4, well, we need to integrate that as well. So minus 4t plus another c. Now another c. We'll find out what that is this time. At t equals 1, this is difficult to spot, but at t equals 1, it is at p. So we want to know how far away from p it is. So at t equals 1, s equals 0 again. So s equals 3 over 2, take away 1, take away 4, and so this time c is equal to 3.5. And so my answer, just moving down a bit then, my, so s is equal to 3t squared over 2 minus 1 over t minus 4t plus 3.5 or 7 over 2 to finish that.